everybody, it's me, Jen, and I decided to build an apartment complex in Mount Komoravi. I really love Japanese apartments. I don't know what it is. I just think they're really cool. And so I decided to build a small Japanese apartment building or Japanese inspired. Uh, so if you want to see this, it's going to be a series. Each episode, I'm going to be decorating a different unit. So today's unit is going to be for a single mom. So if you want to see that, come on and watch. I want you guys to comment below and let me know what the other two units should be decorated for so let's begin i felt like this was the best unit now all these units only have one bedroom but this bedroom was kind of sizable so i thought maybe a mom and a child could share it this is basically the kitchen the bathroom and the living room area this is the gang kong let's begin i'm gonna put move objects cheat on so if you download this from my gallery which you should have a link below uh, make sure you put on move objects sheet before you install this. All right, everybody. So here's what I'm going to do. In the past, when I decorated and I uploaded speed builds, I felt like they weren't super enjoyable to watch. It takes me a long, a long time to build a house. So I would just record myself and then speed it up and put it out there. And I would just speed up the video and I, I went back and I watched a couple of my old speed builds and I felt like they were just not enjoyable to watch. I felt like they were just kind of jarring and scary and not fun, not the best. So in the, uh, in, in the spirit of being able to make a better quality building video for you guys, something that you guys might want to watch, might enjoy, what I did was I'm kind of doing this in a combination of real time and edits. So what I am doing is I'm showing in real time me laying down and placing objects, but I am cutting a lot out. So a lot of the different furniture I might have tried out, a lot of the different like just extra stuff I I put out there just for the sake of speediness because had I uploaded this video in the absolute entirety I don't know it might have been hours long and I just think nobody really has time for that so I just kind of you see how I'm doing it I am just putting things out there and so hopefully you like this better please let me know if you do if this is like something that you feel is more cozy vibes because honestly that is my aesthetic I want to just be like cozy cozy vibes like just fun decorating cozy vibes so this apartment is designed for a single mom and um I'm just imagining that she's like maybe recently divorced and she's trying to get her life back together and so she's you know trying to trying to just have a fresh start with her two children I really liked this yellow kitchen I thought that it really was like fun and cheerful and I really wanted the vibe of this apartment to be fun and cheerful and bright I just I was in that mood so uh, this side table over here it is technically a counter but the way I put it together my hope is that it doesn't really look like a counter but more so just like a, a table because that was my vibe I just wanted this to look like you know just a table that she might have had um, or maybe was left behind by a previous tenant or whatever so that was the the goal that's why I made it look different and I was hoping that it would just look like a piece of furniture because I did watch a lot of walkthroughs and videos for Japanese apartments and Japanese homes and I noticed a lot of times in their kitchens they would have tables and such where they would keep their microwaves or their rice cookers or different things and in the sims you really can't put microwaves on just like tables. I wish you could. I think that that's a travesty. I think you should be able to put microwaves on tables, on shelves. Like, come on, guys. Come on. I know there is... Oh, my God. Sorry. I got a phone call. I'm not even editing that out, guys. Sorry. Maybe you'll think that's unprofessional, but I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. Anyway, so... I, uh, I wish that we could put microwaves above the stove. I wish we could put microwaves on tables. I know there is a mod for that, and I did make a video on that mod, and if you want, I can link that video in. Actually, I'll just link that video below. So 
I wanted this kitchen to look lived in. I, I wanted it to look a little bit cluttered, a little lived in, uh, but fun, vibrant, happy. I, I just wanted this to be like a happy place. And I love this little tea canister. Uh, it was a bit big, so I needed to shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down, and make it fit. And I just thought this was a cozy little aspect of the kitchen. I really like that they added rice cookers and these kettles with the four rent with the for rent and all the way. I do love the fact that we can make our own apartments in for rent. Like that is something I've been wanting in the game for literally ever. So that's just such a joyful time. So we're just we're just putting things around. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit lived in, a little bit cozy. Uh, I'm not gonna have this this uh, building on the gallery just yet. I'm gonna wait till I have all the apartments finished. Once I do have the apartments finished, then I will absolutely have them up there. So uh, let me know. I have two other units in this building. They are both one bedroom units. So uh, she is on the bottom floor, the single mom with the two kids. Let me know. There's a middle apartment and a top apartment. For the middle apartment, I was thinking about doing an old lady. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. I really like this cozy little kitchen shelf. I feel like this came with tiny living. I could be wrong. You guys can correct me in the comments, but I just thought that that was a nice little inclusion. And I absolutely love these little, these little plate, like paper plate, little crafty things. I just imagine that the kids made that in school or at least one of her children and the typical calendar area. We always used to keep these on the refrigerator, like the, the school lunch calendar and stuff like that. When I was little, we always had it on the refrigerator, but I know there is a way to put stuff on the refrigerator in game. I just, I've never like really figured it out 100%. Uh, I got stuff to learn. But I wanted to incorporate a, a kid's art desk and this little toy box. Um, I like the idea of the art desk being in the kitchen because I thought it was fun. Like the kids could kind of work on their art while their mom was cooking or whatever. It's a little family bonding. I was originally going to use a traditional uh, Japanese table. I can't remember what they're called. Sorry, guys. But I was going to originally use a traditional Japanese table. But I, I felt like it didn't really fit in this apartment. I feel like this mom is a little bit more modern. So I just went with this cute bright yellow chairs and I did eventually pick a different swatch of that table but I like the way it looks tucked in the corner there with this nice big window. I, I like this apartment complex because it's small. I feel like it's not too big. There's not too much going on. All of the units get really good light. All of the units have nice balconies. I feel like it would be a nice place to live. Uh, so this is the couch I decided. I think I eventually choose a different swatch, but I thought this couch looked very comfortable and kind of fun, and I like the vibe. The general colors in here are like yellow, blues, kind of, um, greens, oranges. I wanted it to just be like playful. That was the aesthetic, I guess. Here is the Gang Kong. I am putting in some of these cubes from the home decorator. These cubes are so instrumental. I use them all the time. I just love the fact that they are so uh, good to, to stack, to use in different things. I was originally going to have that little dresser, but I just thought that this shoe cubby idea was a lot better. I really love the floor on this gang kong this herringbone tile floor i think it came with parenthood but i can't remember a hundred percent but i just think it looks so cool i just love it i love the aesthetic of the wood on the walls and this tile and i'm changing the swatches i wish we did get some kids shoes that would have been super fun if we had kids shoes oh man and then i realized that this cool little dish drainer came with for rent and i didn't know where to put it so i decided to delete that cabinet and put it up there. I don't know if this makes sense. You guys let me know. Does that seem like it's too high up for a dish drainer? Sometimes I don't think about like the height of things when I'm playing The Sims and uh, how it's going to actually look. I think these walls are medium height high if I remember correctly. But I, I just thought that this, this little dish drainer was so cute and I wanted to incorporate it. And here we are back in the Gang Kong. I wanted to have a little space for them to have some coats to hang up 
and there we go for that. And oh my God, guys, it took me literally forever to find backpacks in The Sims. Like, I don't know what happened, but I could not find them. I know they're usually in the clutter category and like for the longest time I was looking for a backpack and I just couldn't find it. I love this rug so much. I think this rug was such a cute addition to the game and I like it because some of these rugs can absolutely be used in other rooms of the house like this living room. I like the little dot design. Um, at first I was going to have her have a baby like a baby sim and so that's why I had this rocking chair here originally I, I had that so she could have you know rock the baby uh she didn't end up having a baby I honestly couldn't fit the baby <laughs> sorry baby you're you're out so I just have her having a child and a toddler sim but you know this apartment is not that big so three people is kind of a, a limit but I ended up uh you know keeping the rocking chair anyway because I just thought it looked cute and homey and it felt like it belonged in this in this beautiful space. I think that these apartments are very um they're they're bright, they're airy, they're spacious. I really was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with these different poofs and in the end I ended up using that white poof kind of in front of the rocking chair almost like with the illusion that you could put your feet up on it. Now I have this little, see there's that thing for the baby. Originally there was going to baby a, ba a baby here. Okay, so here is the, the bedroom. We have the bunk bed for the adult kid. We have the double bed for the child. And then we have a toddler bed over here. I do end up changing the bedroom around in time. This is the balcony. I wanted to put a, a nice little chair out here so that the child could sit out here and read or whatever. The mother can sit out here if she wants to and watch the kids play. I did also put a dollhouse out here because I thought that that would, you know, give some them something to do and, and a chance to spend some time outside. Also, I decided she's a plant lady. Also, also, is this ledge too high for a balcony? I don't know if it is or not. I'm trying to figure it out. I felt like maybe this ledge was a bit too high. It seems awfully high. Maybe I need to lower it, but then I was also thinking they're on the first floor. Maybe it should be this high, like for safety reasons. I don't know how safe of a town Mount Kamrabi is, but I'm just saying. I thought maybe I should keep it a little high then for some privacy and stuff because she's she's on the first floor. I love these flowers. By the way, this is so off subject. By the way, this is so off subject. But I recently started playing Stardew Valley and. Uh, I'm becoming addicted to that game. I think it's such a fun game to play and I'm going to be uploading, you know, let's plays of me playing Stardew Valley. So do you play Stardew Valley? Do you like Stardew Valley? If you do play Stardew Valley, who should I marry? Because I'm honestly between Elliot and Sebastian right now. I don't know. I'm kind of, I, those are the two top runners, Elliot and Sebastian. Uh, Sebastian, I'm just going to be honest with you. I kind of like his aesthetic. He looks really cute. And I don't know, but he's not really giving me the time of day. Elliot is a little bit nicer to me, and he's very handsome as well. So I'm 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 not sure who I'm gonna marry. If you've ever played Stardew Valley, who did you marry, and who do you recommend I marry? So just let me know. I'm really curious about these things. Uh, oh, I really like these curtains. I think they came with Parenthood. Don't get me wrong. I'm not sure 100%, but I think they look so perfect in this window. I just think they're perfect. It's like the perfect little curtains. I'm slowly making her a plant mom. Like she is just, the plants are taking over. I am not a huge fan of the Sims 4 kits. I think they're kind of a ripoff. However, I am going to say, I really love the plant one. The plant one is one of my favorites. I think that is such a good kit. I also really like the latest one they came out with. Um, it was like the luxury bedroom or whatever. That was a really nice one as well. I loved this cubby. I thought this like this corner needed something and I felt like in this small apartment storage was the best place. I also felt like this corner was a little bit dark so I needed to put some light and so I just thought this was a good little place for like books or whatever. I don't know but I just wanted to create a little a little interest in this corner and I wanted to make it have some usable space so there we go. And I forget which painting I chose. I think it was that one. And we're going to size it down. 
And oh, there, I finally found a backpack. I was like so happy. I think I might have squealed. And this corner right here, when you first walk in the Gang Kong, am I saying that right, by the way? Let me know. Um, I wanted the stuffed animal there. I felt like the kids could like hug them when they got home. Like, oh, you had a tough day at school. Your friend's waiting for you. Give them a hug. I don't know. Is that dorky? It's probably dorky. I'm a dork. Uh, I also wanted to change the paint color in this room because I felt like that stark white was like too white. And so I thought this beautiful warm yellow paint just warmed up the room. It created a more warm atmosphere. And I really thought these little tiles looked so cute with it in the kitchen. It just came together. Also, I wanted to put something in this corner and I thought it would be a good place to put like some art pieces for the kids. I don't know. This apartment is very like child friendly. It's very like bright. I wanted it to be like a really bright place. The bedroom is a little bit of a hot mess, but I kind of did that intentionally. I'm just going to say I'm imagining that this mom is basically moving from a larger house and now in a smaller apartment. So she's going to have like some mismatched furniture in the bedroom. She's probably bringing like her child's bed, which I love that dinosaur print. I am so sad that there's not a toddler bed with that dinosaur print. That is such a travesty. Oh my God. It was so sad. But anyway, uh, so that's her bed with that darker frame. I really like that comforter. It looks so restful and beautiful. And then her son has got that dinosaur bed. I love these curtains. I think they're from parenthood. Sorry if you're hearing weird, weird things in the background it's just it's just my life so here we go we have the curtains I thought these curtains were nice I thought they looked really cute and then I really wanted to put a tv in this room for whatever reason I just felt like it needed it I don't know I think little kids when they go to bed they often like watch tv at night at least the little kids that I knew growing up they like always watched like a couple of episodes of like Dora the Explorer or, I don't know Bluey or whatever Paw Patrol before they go to bed so I just thought like having a little tv in here also they could do like cute little I don't know movie nights in the bed or whatever I don't know I don't know. It, was, it was my thought I had the hardest time like with this tv I know this tv is like very old and junky the one that I chose but I thought maybe she got it second hand or whatever and then this is the closest thing I could get to match the dinosaur print it's so sad I really wanted to have a matching dinosaur bed but I did put the dinosaur bed over here so the the toddler has his own kind of little alcove there was originally three of those cabinets I got rid of one of them so I could make a more conducive bedroom I feel like this is the best layout that I could come up with I feel like it's the most spacious everybody kind of has their own space sort of I don't know if the bed looks better this way or that way Oh, I, that's right. I moved it because it was clipping into the curtains, I think. That's the only reason why I moved it. So you probably won't be able to get to that one closet, but, you know, who cares? You can access one closet. That's all you need. That's all you need in The Sims. And then I wanted to have a cute little decal for this kid's wall. All right, guys. So we have our first apartment done. We've got the single mom's apartment. And you guys just saw the video of me decorating it. Let's do our final walkthrough. I did make a couple of small little tweaks. Nothing too crazy. Also, does anybody know how to paint ceilings in The Sims? Because I can't figure it out. If anybody could tell me, I'd appreciate it. So this is the single mom's apartment. We are going to enter in to this cute little alcove area, which I really like. Let's go. Let's so in here we enter into this beautiful gang kong you have these built-in little shoe caddies a nice little place to hang coats and backpacks i have been looking all over the game for backpacks i could not find them anywhere we have this wonderful mirror so you can check yourself out and then we enter into the main living area so this is a very bright and colorful place. I wanted there to be a lot of youthful energy in this apartment. I just felt like doing something very bright and that's why I decided to make it a single mom. So this is like the entrance area, a little toy box, the living room area, lots of fun cozy places for everybody to sit while they watch TV. This is the other side, little cabinet. Here is the 
kitchen table, little laptop for mom, whatever career she decides to do. Here is the bright and cheery kitchen. I'm going to be deleting that cereal box because I don't like the way it's floating there. This kitchen is very basic. There's not a lot to it, but it will serve your purposes. I put this kid's little art table there so he could keep his mom company while she cooks. It's a very basic kitchen, but I think it looks really, really cute. I wanted this cupboard to kind of almost look like a table that was just put there. And I think we achieved that. This is the bright, sunny place. I made these walls yellow because I wanted to warm it up a little in here. Let's go out to the patio. We just have it nicely decorated. Little dollhouse, nothing too crazy. I just wanted there to be something out there. Let's go into the bathrooms. This is the actual bathing room right here, and it's nothing basic. I originally just had a shower in here, but I decided to put a tub because she's going to have a toddler, so I uh, just, I needed, that kid needed to be able to get cleaned up. And then here we go. This is the bathroom with a little potty. There you go. And then let's go into their bedroom. So it is a one bedroom unit. There's not a ton of space, which is not always easy. I really like these doors. This is the bedroom. I feel like even though it is a little packed, it is very serene and pretty. The mom will sleep in the double bed. The eldest child will sleep up there in the bunk. I put a little TV and I felt like that dresser looked like a good place for extra, play, uh, extra stuff, socks and such. And then over here is the toddler bed and some more cupboards. And yeah, that's pretty much this unit. Next up, we're gonna be doing this unit up here. This is a very basic bear unit. This is the kitchen. This is the living space. And this is the bedroom. So I was thinking an older lady lived here, but if you guys have any other suggestions of who you'd like to see live in this unit, let me know before I begin filming the next round of this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I thought it would be fun. If you guys want me to do different apartments in different cities and make this like an ongoing thing, let me know because honestly, I would love to. All right, guys, take care.